A total of 81 patients with developmental dysplasia of the hip, with a total of 120 dislocated hips, who underwent non-operative management with the Papadimitriou method, modification of the Hoffman-Daimler method, from 1971 to 2017 were retrospectively reviewed. In phase A of the Papadimitriou method, the patient wears a flexion harness which allows the femoral head to be gradually reduced. This is followed by phase B, during which the patient wears an abduction splint in order for the reduced hip to undergo remodeling. The study group included 15 boys and 105 girls. The average age of the patients was 14 months range. 444 months at the time of treatment and the mean follow-up was 912 years range, 2 to 30 years. To achieve a favorable outcome in treating DDH, the abduction splint has to position the leg in such a degree of abduction, which would allow concentric distribution of pressure of the femoral head inside the dysplastic acetabulum and induce acetabular remodeling of the acetabulum until it reaches normal levels. One drawback of the abduction splint in children is the long duration that it must be worn, usually more than a year. Acetabular remodeling on radiographs during phase B was evaluated by observing the change in the acetabular index over time on serial X-ray measurements. We measured the AI prior to treatment and at the end of treatment. We defined the end of treatment as the point where the acetabular index was in normal range for the age and gender of the child. The patients were divided into two groups, according to the time required to remodel the dysplastic acetabulum completely. The fast remodelers, FR, where acetabular remodeling ensued in less than six months and the normal acetabular remodelers, NR, where remodeling ensued in the normally expected 12 to 15 months. At the beginning of phase B, the entry angle was calculated and recorded according to radiographs. The E can be estimated using the following procedure. The superior lateral acetabular rim is marked as point E, whereas the acetabular teardrop is marked as point D. Point the fifth is defined as the lowest and most lateral point of the acetabular margin, namely the point where the lower contour of the head intersects with the posterior inferior acetabular margin the latter being easily identified on most x-rays. Purpose of the present study was to report the improved efficacy of abduction orthosis for the treatment of developmental dysplasia of the hip with the use of entry angle monitoring. The hypothesis is that when the entry angle is zero, then acetabular remodeling is induced and the time needed to wear the abduction splint is half the time normally expected in order to achieve favorable outcomes. The entry angle could help adjust and direct the ideal degree of splint abduction. Enter a posterior radiograph of the pelvis of a six-month-old girl with unilateral tonus grade III hip dislocation. Initial x-rays measure an acetabular index of 40 degrees. Complete reduction after two months, phase A. B. Starting phase B with abduction splint. Entry angle is zero on x-ray. C. Enter a posterior radiograph, five months later. Acetabular index now 25 degrees showing that the acetabulum has strongly remodeled. Notice and compare the improvement in the acetabular index. D. Enter a posterior radiograph, 21 months later, showing that the acetabulum has remodeled completely and the femoral head is spherical and concentric. The mean duration of phase B in the FR group, N equals 36, was 6 months SD plus minus sign 2 compared to 15 months SD plus minus sign 4 months, N equals 84 in the NR group. The mean entry angle, EA, for the FR group was 2 plus minus sign 1, 5 degrees compared to 16 plus minus sign 5 degrees in normal remodelers which was statistically significant. P less than 0, 0.01. The optimal degree of abduction of the hips which is imposed mechanically by the splints could be objectively changed QUNTATIVELY by monitor the entry angle to be 0, that means less time of the patient AT the abduction splint. 
P-A-P-E-D-I-M-I-T-R-I-O-U abduction spleen app could help to find optimal abduction position of the hip by S-E-E-I-G in real time, the entry angle in the I-F-F-E-R-E-T leg position, and see you ending the therapy accordingly. The entry angle could help the surgeon adjust the degree of abduction in the abduction splint in order to expedite the remodeling of the dysplastic acetabulum. When the entry angle approaches values near zero, it means that the degree of abduction of the hip is biomechanically optimal and the pressure exerted by the femoral head inside the dysplastic acetabulum is uniform and concentric. This stimulates the deepening of the dysplastic acetabulum and as a result, a reduction of the treatment duration is expected.